It's not easy to sum up a man's long life in just a few paragraphs. Stanley's parents were George and Regina, who had immigrated from Poland. They rented a home on West Street, and that's where Stanley was born on June 29, 1921. They built a home on Middle Street and raised eight children, all four boys and four girls. He graduated from Hop they, they all graduated from Hopkins Academy, including Stanley, in 1941. Stanley was the third oldest in the family. He had two sisters. He has two sisters still alive, and one of them is here today, Amelia Matusko. Hi, Amelia. <laughs> Stanley served in the U.S. Army during World War II. He served in the Army from November 1942 to February 1946. He did his basic training at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. He was stationed stateside at Fort Benning, Georgia, in the Medical Corps. He was also stationed at Camp Aliceville, POW camp in Alabama, where he checked in the new recruits and German prisoners of war. He also assisted the dentists on base as a medical corpsman. He married Anna Osiak in 1952. They built a home on East Street in 1956 where they raised five children. Four of them are here today. Yay! <laughs> Betty, Mary, Tom, and Kathy. Steve is arriving tonight from Florida. He, um, Stanley worked at the VA Medical Center in the warehouse, and he retired in 1989. Since retiring, he has enjoyed gardening, mowing his lawn, learning the computer, and doing genealogical research, and his seven grandchildren. There are not many people who can say they've lived in Hadley for 100 years. That is so true. Stanley is happy to be a resident of this town by being born on West Street, growing up on Middle Street, and raising his family and still living on East Street. He feels he is a very lucky man. Thank you, Stanley. Um, and now I'd like to introduce our town manager, uh, Carolyn Brennan, who will be presenting the Boston Post cane and describing briefly the history of that tradition in New England. Good afternoon. My name is Carolyn Brennan. I'm a town administrator, and I am here on behalf of the select board I want to recognize Molly Keegan, Randy Eisner, and our chair, Jenny Nevinsmith, and a, a family member of Stanley, former uh, select board member David Phil. So it's really nice to have all of you here. So Stanley, I've been to two parties here since I started. They've been both for you. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little history. I, as some of you know I was a former senior center director as, um, for many, many years and was always um, presenting uh, the, um, the Boston Post came and always uh, giving a presentation, but I, Haley did provide a great history of where it started, and it's a really nice story. The tradition of awarding the Boston Post came to a town's oldest resident began in 1909 when Boston Post newspaper owner Edwin Grozier dreamed up the publicity stunt. The Post reigned as the most popular newspaper in New England for a century until it folded in 1956. William Beals founded it in 1831 along with Charles G. Green, younger brother of the Revolutionary War General Nathaniel Green. The newspaper distributed the cane to 700 towns in the Post circulation area in Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island. They were made by J.F. Fraidley and Company, a New York manufacturer from Ebony, shipped in seven foot lengths from the Congo. A 14 karat engraved gold knob topped the cane. So my understanding is this is very unusual that Hadley has the original pup, uh, cane. So it's been very difficult in most communities to keep this and, and follow it from uh, and anyone who's turned 100 and been awarded this. Um, so the way that it will not get lost in Hadley is instead of presenting the cane, they actually have a really, really nice replica. Are you ready? In a pin. So Stanley, on behalf of the Select Board of Hadley and all of the residents and every single person here would love to know your secret. 
but you could keep that secret of how you got to be so healthy and looking so young at your age. So as the oldest, my understanding, the oldest in Hadley. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations. I'm going to bring this pen over to you. Hard work. <laughs> Say ouch. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for this recognition. But I wish I was uh, getting a, an award for being the youngest uh, person in this town. <laughs> but I hope to keep this uh, title as the oldest resident until. At, at least 2026, because I'd like to live to be 105. <laughs> what a 